Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how an overpriced agent business affects the potential that you can sell that business. We're going to go over the valuation of the business and also talk about public record data versus uh, a specific website that I like to access in order to get reasonable valuations on businesses that are out there. So let's get started. Hey, this is Hank Sorensen with the YouTube channel Go Get a Listing. Today we're going to talk about how an overpriced agent business may affect the ability for you to sell your real estate business to a potential buyer. So number one, when you sell a home, usually there's going to be public record data where you can get comparable properties concerning a single family home, a condo, vacant land that you're selling to a client. So there's public record data on businesses there really isn't that. So you have to go to specific website or other data uh, in order to get that information. The one I like to go to because it's most heavily populated with businesses that are for sale is bizbuysell.com. So that's B-I-Z-B-U-Y-S-E-L-L.com. Fantastic website. It's got a ton of information on how to value businesses, specific franchises that are available. You can pull up other listings on there or talk to a business broker if you want to. Just a ton of data and great information on selling your business. Now, there may not be a ton of agent businesses there in a huge quantity that you can review purchase prices for, but you can get the general feel on how valuations are done on specific types of businesses. So you'd want to go into real estate, finance, those sort of businesses, stay away from technology or construction because those are going to be at a much higher or much lower valuation. But go to biz buy sell and you can get a feeling for how other real estate businesses are valued. Now, number two, concerning the overpricing. If you have seller's discretionary earnings, and that's what the SDE stands for, is seller's discretionary earnings, and if you don't know what that is, review the, vi the video uh, in this playlist previously where we talked about how low earnings may affect a business sale. I go over how to calculate the seller's discretionary earnings there. Seller's discretionary earnings are the net profit of the business plus all of the ad backs on personal expenses so that we can get to, I can get to as a buyer, the amount of money that you've got at your discretion for personal income as a seller. So if again, if you're less than $150,000 in seller's discretionary earnings, it's hard for you to overprice that property, that uh, listing on your business because not many people are gonna buy it anyway. So what you're really looking to do is get to that $150,000 in discretionary earnings then we can talk about how you can potentially sell the business. So don't worry about overpricing it if you're at say $75,000 in discretionary income because it's really difficult to sell the business anyway. What you're gonna notice about pricing is that the multiplier on the business, and again, if you don't understand the multiplier, please see that prior video on earnings and you'll understand uh, how this is uh, used with the business and valuing the business for sale but the multiplier will be multiplied by the earnings. So most buyers are gonna give you a higher multiplier to sell your business to them with the more earnings that are on the table. And that's because they know if $1 is invested in this business, it's gonna produce an X return. If $1 is invested in this business, it's gonna produce an X plus return because the discretionary earnings are higher as we go down this list. And you can see what most buyers will do. They may, and again, this is a hypothetical list on a buyer evaluation. They, they may say, look, Mr. Seller, I'll give you a three times multiplier if you've got 250,000 in earnings, but if you've got 500,000 in earnings, I may attach a 3.3 multiplier to it. If there's a million dollars in earnings, they may attach a 3.5 to it. It's gonna vary by buyer and vary by circumstance, but the general rule is the multiplier will go up and it's parallel with the amount of seller's discretionary earnings that are on the table. The higher the earnings, the higher the multiplier. So here you might see a $750,000 business because we've got three times the 250. So that buyer is gonna value that business at $750,000. If you're overpriced or you're at 1.2, what happens to a house when it's on the market at 1.2 million when it's only actually worth $750,000. You know the answer to that, it's not gonna sell. Your business is no different. So don't overprice your business. Talk to the buyer about what the multipliers that they potentially are gonna use are. 
for the amount of earnings that they may see on the table. As long as they're willing to be open with you about that, you're both going to be at least reasonably close to the same page and therefore the negotiations will go a lot smoother. Hope this was very educational to you guys today. If so, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell uh, so your email will get the next video drop uh, that I make on the channel. Thanks.